Suballergic something or other, Cannon. He's been working on it for a month now. Actually, it's a subatomic particle beam, Josh, and I'm going to be the first scientist to bore through the densest substance in the universe. Yeah! Your head? <laughs> <laughs> this is a rare sample of the White Dwarf Star. They say nothing can penetrate it. Well, all that is about to change. <laughs> Subatomic confetti cannon at my next party. <laughs> Today we begin a new chapter in our alien civilization studies. Our destination, the exotic world of Klaxdorf. I hope you don't mind. I prepared a few charts and graphs if you want to use them in your lecture. <laughs> right. Uh, when I suggested we were going to experience a little taste of Klaxdorf, uh, here's what I was thinking. The Klaxdorfians used an open flame to melt delicious foods and dip other skewered food into it. <laughs> oh, I thought you were going to be looking at their advanced solar physics theories, not their approach to fondue. <laughs> this tastes better than any solar physics I know of. Who's up for a little taste of Klaxdorf? <laughs> Hey, Seth, um, I was wondering if you wanted to maybe be my cooking partner. Ah, sorry, Yoko. Seth's cooking with me. <laughs> right, of course. Well, um, maybe next time, huh? Mm. huh? Back so soon? Oh, Seth doesn't say a single word and my head's spinning. There's gotta be more to him than that cool, handsome exterior. <sighs> <laughs> Surely Principal Kirkpatrick will sympathize with me. After all, Galaxy High is an institute of higher learning, not some pathetic play zone. I want these to send a very clear huh? message that everyone should brace themselves for bold changes around here. Whoa, sounds intense. <laughs> ah, Brett. So, what do you think about my cool new curtains? They sure send a strong message. I think so, too. Uh, now, can I help you with something? No, I'm content knowing you're doing everything in your power to advance the standards at Galaxy High. <sighs> I should have known. No one around here is dedicated to the pursuit of academic excellence. <laughs> Search for signs of intelligent life in the universe, because they're certainly not at Galaxy High. <gasps> What's this? Some kind of encrypted message. Hmm. Hey, I'm in! Ha <laughs> ha! Welcome to the Frontal Lobe, a secret society dedicated to the pursuit of wisdom, knowledge, and all things intellectual. Now these are my kind of beings. <laughs> Let's 
see what happens when... Uh, uh, egghead humor. Hey! What is it you see, Cartling? Uh, I want to join the frontal move. <laughs> Clearly a dance for a human. Unfortunately, our scans suggest you don't meet our standards. Have a nice day. Hey! Uh, well, maybe your probe needs to be recalibrated. Try again! Hi. Welcome, young human with the generous cranium. May we call you Brett? Uh, sure, but how did you know my... All oh, right, the scan. Hmm. I am Synapse, and we are the Frontal Lobe, a secret society devoted to... The pursuit of wisdom, knowledge, and all things intellectual. I know. It's an honor to be in your presence. So, uh, what exactly do you do here? We engage in a variety of brain stimulation activities, such as reinventing the virtual wheel. May I? Most intriguing design, human. It's something I've been fooling around with. Oh, what's that? <laughs> you mean you've never played in the brainstem on the inferior life form? <laughs> <laughs> that primitive life form reminds me of a couple of boneheads back at school. <laughs> boneheads. Wow, this has got to be the coolest place in the universe. Actually, that would be the seventh moon of Kronap. Geothermally speaking, of course. <laughs> This is Space Patrol hailing alien craft of unknown origin. Cut your propulsion systems and prepare to be boarded. Nonsense! We are a peaceful ship. Beginning base of maneuvers. Do you think that's a good idea? Trust me, the only reason they're harassing us is because of our superior intellect. It happens all the time. Hey! hey. Attention! This is your final warning. Stand down or we'll neutralize your propulsion systems. Let me handle this. What seems to be the problem, officer? Why isn't your ship's identification properly displayed? Look here, my simple-minded friend. This is a scientific vessel, and according to Section 239, Subsection 414 of the Intergalactic Space Code, we are not required to display any identification. I'm not aware of any such radio... Oh! Okay, that checks, sir. Sorry for the inconvenience, but next time you're hailed... Let's hope there won't be a next time, or somebody's gonna be patrolling the remote Zilla quadrant of the galaxy. <sighs> <sighs> Nicely done, Brett. But alas, we must get back to work. Extract their IQs. We'll dump them at the next black hole. Better yet, let's create a black hole to speed the process up. <laughs> we look forward to seeing you again, Brett. Oh, same here. I can't tell you how great it is to hang out with such intellectually stimulating friends. <laughs> you must go in there! While your intellect is considerable, you've not yet attained the level to enter that chamber. Maybe one day? Perhaps. Now, as a token of our collective appreciation. Oh, no way, really? This is such an honor, Sinat. Oh. <laughs> Clear for landing. <laughs> okay, I am officially lost. It's almost like he's jamming my radar. What is it about Seth that's so... Mysterious? Yeah, mysterious. Why is that? I mean, he's confident and good-looking, but I've never heard him talk. Not even once. Guys like us are enigmas of coolness. Uh, right. Well, I'm going to solve this Seth puzzle if it kills me. Oops. Oh, how clumsy of me. Hmm. Ah, talk about smitten. Not smitten, obsessed. There's a difference. <laughs> Where have you been? Oh, just hanging with my equals, bro. Equals, huh? So, aren't you even a little bit mad that I messed up your half of the room? Huh? Uh, no. I don't blame you for your shortfalls. After all, having an inferior brain isn't a crime. I'm not interrupting anything, am I? Good. Brett, I need to use your computer to analyze some DNA. Aw, all by yourself? Are you sure you know how to do this? Duh! 
Now, all you have to do is press enter. Hey, Brett, any particular reason why you're talking to us like we're complete doofuses? <laughs> you mean doofy. The plural of doofus is doofy. Right. So, what's with the attitude? Don't you worry your little, and I do mean little, heads about it. If you'll excuse me, I have some pressing intellectual matters to tend to. What was that all about? Beats me. Oh, rats, nothing. No family background, school history. Just one of the finest saliva specimens the computer has ever analyzed. Ugh. Hey, yo, check it out. Have you ever seen this pin before? It's really dorky, like something Brett would wear. It needs a swirling rainbow coming out of the brainstem or something. Uh, I found it on Brett's dresser. Recognize the emblem? Nope, but I bet it has something to do with Brain Boy's new and not improved attitude. Hmm, let's see if the Galaxy High Archive turns up anything. Scanning, scanning, scanning. Oh, right there. Hmm, this emblem belongs to a secret society of super intelligent aliens called the Frontal Lobe. <laughs> Probably just a bunch of eggheads geeking out together. <gasps> right not. They're on Galaxy High's top ten list of known threats to the universe. For what? Dominating the galaxy by ridding the universe of substandard intelligence. Oh, the usual. How did Brett ever get involved with these self-centered brain creeps? Who knows, but we better find him before he does something we're gonna regret. Uh, you might want to bring that. Hey, I feel smarter already. Defender's going complete. Tie it now! Hey, guys! You startled us, Brett. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to. Is everything all right? Yeah, it seems a neural capacitor isn't firing. Frankly, we are flummoxed. Maybe I can help. <laughs> we appreciate that gesture, but this technology is far beyond your comprehension. Try it now! Oh. Brett, the frontal lobe is so impressed by your intellectual dexterity, we'd like to offer you a place in our master plan. You mean, I've attained the next level? The what? Mm. Oh, <laughs> that! Why, of course you have! Well done! We hereby induct you into the frontal lobe! This is the greatest day of my life! Onward and upward, blah, blah, blah. Let's get back to work. <laughs> cool. Welcome to the hemisphere of collective enlightenment. What does it do? What doesn't it do? This chamber combines our collective intelligence so that we may solve the problems of the universe. I've always wanted to use my brain power for good. Then it's time to step up and take the rightful place in history. I ask you, oh, hemisphere of collective enlightenment, what is the best way to get rid of the greatest menace in the universe? The answer. Use an ever-expanding subatomic particle beam. <gasps> ah, a recreation of the Big Bash Theory. Ingenious. We'll call it the brain wave. Well, now what? The hemisphere harvests our intelligence on the subject and reconfigures the ship's weapon system to carry out the plan. Heading is 7.9 orange, 2.12. Track Brett's Defender. I've got a lock on it. Good, now let's hope the frontal lobe is nothing more than an intergalactic chess club. I've got a signal. Hmm. Intruders have breached our airspace. The subatomic particle beam is ready. Shall we test it? There's a giant brain-shaped vessel right ahead. For a secret society, they're not very subtle. Uh, what was that? Oh, they're firing on us! Hold on. I can outrun them. I'll see if I can take out their blaster. Anticipating my every move. Kaboom! Uh oh. 
Uh, uh, what? Ooh, there's a very pretty overshade, maybe purple wave of energy coming from the brain ship, and it's headed by for us! It's faster than the Hornet! We need to boost the shields! <laughs> I'm gonna try and amplify the Hornet's shields! Oh, I hope this works! If it doesn't, we're gonna be floating back to GH! Fingers crossed! Nice thinking, yo. Now let's get Brett and shut that thing down before it does any more damage. Okay, we survived the Destructo Ray. Now the big problem, how to get in. Ooh, and that was cool. But it's still an ugly pin. Big head. <gasps> huh? Nice gown. Did it come with fuzzy slippers or do you have to earn them? It's a graduation robe. And what are you guys doing here? Can't you see I'm in the middle of something important? Oh, funny. We were just in the middle of that subatomic important something and almost got blown up. What are you talking about? Your egghead buddies are hatching an evil plan. Oh, no, you've got it all wrong, guys. Oh, Synapse, tell them. Actually, they've got it quite right. I'm surprised. <laughs> the subatomic brainwave is designed to wipe out the greatest menace in the universe, those who are intellectually inferior. But that's pretty much everyone, including Josh and Yoko! Especially Josh. Hey, there's no need to get personal, Captain Cranium. So you harvested my knowledge of subatomic particle beams for your evil plan? <laughs> I can't believe it! No! <laughs> you will rue this day forever, Brett. Uh, what's rue mean? Isn't Rue French for street? See? Uh, we'd love to stay in Squabble, but we have an appointment back on Earth. I don't think so. Meet the lobotomizer. Hmm? That's it? The biggest smarty pants in the universe and a big dumb hammer is the best you can come up with? Hardly. <laughs> <laughs> Come back for them, I promise. Look. Uh-oh, that's not good. What is it? The brainwave is headed back towards the brain ship. But how? <gasps> the way Synapse phrased the question, frontal lobe is the greatest menace to the universe. Cut to the chase, Brett. The brainwave is coming back to wipe out the frontal lobe. Certain impact in 20 seconds. Initiate launch sequence of the escape lobe. Oh, they're getting away! Not today. Watch this! Once again, our superior intelligence has permitted us to outsmart the local pea brains. Ah. Impact in 11 seconds and counting. Let's move! Brett, blow the sanitation hatch. We'll collect the prisoners as well as the frontal lobe in the Hornet. Got it! Nine seconds and counting. <laughs> Thrusters engaged. Everyone's accounted for, Brett. Let's go home. Yeah. Defender number one on approach. Clear for landing. They're unbelievable. So? So, the frontal lobe's prisoners have been set free. And what about that Legion of Doom? Ah, for punishment, they're being forced to provide tech support at some light bulb factory on the outer rim. <laughs> <laughs> and speaking of our big brain friends, I'm sorry about the way I treated you both. I don't care how high or low in Josh's case your IQs are. Don't mention it. And I'm sorry I sabotaged your particle cannon thingy. I should have been more sensitive to your work. Hey, Yoko, don't look now. Your dream boat's out of this way. <laughs> I'm sure he doesn't even know I'm alive. So, um, Seth, I was, like, wondering if you'd like to maybe go on a date sometime. Nothing serious, but if that sounds too dorky. Really? I was gonna ask you out, but I only use my voice for my burgeoning singing career. Sounds cool to me. Oh, you're a singer. 
like me. <laughs> I don't think anyone's a singer quite like Yoko. Or at least, let's hope not. Huh, who knew Seth had such a way with words? Have fun! You guys will make beautiful music together! <laughs> <laughs>